so that we have great visibility, great churning radius on this truck. It's also got a lot, a lot, a lot of power. We got 350 horsepower with 425 pounds of torque with the six-speed automatic transmission. This truck can move some products. So let's come around and see what we're talking about. So one of the features of the safety points that I wanna to talk to you about beyond the visibility turning radius that we just talked about, Part of that visibility comes from the fact that we have rain channels on top of the cab so the water drains to the back. We are in the drought in California, but I'm sure this matters to a lot of people when there's water. Here we have our mirrors. And the impressive thing is it's one long mirror in the back, but it's actually two mirrors. And these mirrors adjust for closer. It's also really important, once this mirror is adjusted, the driver in a narrow pathway can close the, this mirror and then when he pops up, it has memory. It will remember to go right back to where it's important so that we encourage the drivers to close the mirrors if they need to get through narrow pathways. Um, in, then we come here and we immediately see that we also have additional clearance lights here, which is really important for folks to see you. And then you notice that the step here is covered. Let me show you. Um, and that is also great for environments where the step is covered and protected from snow and things like that. We, the driver can easily open this with a, a gloves on because it's plenty of spacious. When we open this, voila, we see that we have a full path into the cab. We have an 85 degree door. And with the safety features, we notice as well that the windshield fluid is easily accessible with the side glass here, which is really important um, to make sure that the driver can always have a clean driver uh, view. We also notice that the cab is fully enclosed and lined, but we also then comes standard with a heavy duty floor mat. If we look at the seats, it sits three, uh, two and the bench seat here, two seat belts. This uh, that folds down and turns into a workbench per se, a uh, clipboard. And Suzu has even been so thoughtful as to place our fire extinguisher triangle set area here directly for you. So you know you gotta have that for US DOT application. When we close the door, we notice then that we right away come to the coolant. Easy, accessible visibility. Our air filter is here. And then we have our battery right here. And when you open this top, you'll see that there's actually a place for you to lock your batteries due to theft, which is great. Beyond that, clear frame guys completely completely clear now if we look at the this vehicle this is an 18 foot flatbed it is going to a fencing company that really debated the afford product versus the uh, the Suzu product and the decision maker came we have a smaller footprint we have more power um, on this vehicle much comprehensible uh, cost of doing business as well so our axle in the front is 6,800 pounds and we move all back to the front back here. We notice that the rear axle is 1,400 pounds, uh, 14,000 pounds. We have the 19.5 tires. They're all season um, tires, good for any location. And then we see that here again, clear frame. When we come around here, I wanna show you guys, this is pretty impressive. We notice that the bot, the, we have a clean chassis, clean frame in between the rails. We do see our 38 gallon fuel tank right there. And look at the attention to detail. The fuel line is going through the frame, protecting it and coming out on this side here where there's a fuel line that's given to the body companies. And so this is less opportunities for it to get kinked and have a problem. Um, I also want to mention that in this particular truck, we noticed that we have a receiver hitch and this receiver hitch. So this vehicle right here is a 14,500. 
With the rear, we have a gross combine on this particular model of 20,500 pounds. So you can tow six and carry five. That's incredible. Um, now we do have other two models in this product line. We have the 12,000 GVW and we have a 17,950, really allowing you to decide what the payload needs are for your business, which is really super crucial. We, this is 18, we can go from 12 to 20 feet on this same chassis as well. So we could go shorter, um, we can do built dump trucks and various things. We go all the way to the front and we notice that we have our engine cover, we have our fuse boxes, and then now let me show you how to have access to this engine, which is also really important because that's why part of our maintenance cost is so low. You're seeing that one, there's a safety switch here, so often you would pull that in. But I want to showcase that both of our tranny and engine um, dipsticks are on the passenger side. Typically, that's great because we want to be on the side there that's safe for the driver to not be on the pathway. We're going to close this cab and notice how easily it comes down. And all you got to make sure is this handle closes. We come around here and we see this beautiful seats again. We also notice that as one of the quick checks, we have our brake... Uh, our brake fluid here pops open you can see it and we have safety handles here both on both sides and when we get in the cab there's things we have to adjust we have our steering column here that is elliptical and it can move we have uh, these could be for body upfits or various things but here this is your standard radio your radio comes with AM FM and hands-free Bluetooth right here already um, there's other compartments for other connecting things that you could do but in this radio you can opt to have a backup camera which would have given you a seven inch uh, screen to do that as well we also have mobile eye features which would have if the keep the driver knowing if they're turning to the right or to the left that's a safety feature this that we can add to this as well we also can do a suspension seat for the driver um, so this tells you why a Suzu is the number one cab forward truck. But included with this truck, free, right now, we have three years, six, or excuse me, two years, 30,000 miles of oil changes included. Some of my customers are opting and I recommend adding the preventive maintenance service to that so we can figure out the remaining services you need for the next two to three years, add that to the price of the purchase and finance that. I also highly recommend extending the warranty. So this vehicle is going to come with 60 months, 60,000 miles uh, powertrain. I highly recommend for a very reasonable price to extend that to five years, 150,000 miles. This vehicle is road ready and uh, this is the reason why we're so popular. Thank you.